हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू क्लास फिफ्थ इंग्लिश सेकेंड ऑनलाइन वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर वन फ्रॉम योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज टाइप्स ऑफ एडजेक्टिव बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट एडजेक्टिव विच यू मस्ट हैव स्टडीड इन योर प्रीवियस क्लासेस फर्स्ट आई विल टेल यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एडजेक्टिव एडजेक्टिव इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ स्पीच दैट डिस्क्राइब्स अ नाउन और अ प्रोनाउन ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अ ब्यूटिफुल बिल्डिंग नाउ इन दिस सेंटेंस बिल्डिंग बिल्डिंग इज अ नाउन ओके एंड वी यूज ब्यूटिफुल दैट ब्यूटिफुल वर्ड इज एन एडजेक्टिव एंड दिस इज दिस इज डिस्क्राइबिंग दैट द नाउन Build that beautiful is describing the building. Okay, so that's why it is called a adjective. Okay, so uh, this was the definition of adjective. Now come uh, come to the topic types of adjective. Now we will uh, uh, classify the adjectives. Okay, in different types. So uh, let us see how many types of adjectives are there. See uh, one passage is there. Yeah, well, first uh, read, look at the picture which is given here, and uh, read the passage. Today I went to the railway park. The weather was very pleasant and good, uh, and the golden uh, sun was shining upon us. The park was huge and beautiful. There was a small pond with three swans in it. Many kids were uh, were playing in the park. I played with them and had a lot of fun. Now uh, you must have learned uh, about adjectives, and you can see that uh, in the words in the that in this passage, the words pleasant, golden, huge, beautiful, small, three, many, a lot of are adjectives. These all are adjectives. They tell us more about the noun or pronoun. You can say in this in this passage the adjectives are used, which tells us about uh, which, which are telling us about noun and pronoun. For example, pleasant tells us about the weather. Pleasant is used for the weather. Huge and beautiful tell us about the park. The par the par the, that huge and beautiful are describing the park. Three tells us about the swans. Now three is telling the number of the swans. Golden tells us about the sun, like this. And golden in this golden is describing the sun. Okay. Now see, there are different types of adjective. First is adjective of quality. Adjective of quality are those adjectives uh, which uh, tells the answer of size means which tells the size. color shape material special quality of a noun or pronoun uh you can see uh, one example also given in the book, uh, this the school has a big playground yellow building circular corridor and helpful teachers now you can see playground building corridor and teacher are noun and before it you can see adjectives is adjectives are used big yellow circular helpful now these are these are telling the qualities okay qualities of a noun size one is telling the size second is color uh, telling the color third is telling the shape and fourth is telling the special quality okay big yellow circular helpful okay i think it is clear now now come to the second type adjective of quantity these are those adjectives which answers the question how much okay uh, how much means uh, these are used with uncountable nouns in your previous grades you must have studied about countable and uncountable nouns nouns are of two types countable and uncountable which can be counted uh just like uh, we can we can count the number of pillars number of pillars in a building okay we can count it but we cannot count the number of stars we cannot count the number of hairs okay 
we cannot count the uh, grains of the grains of a sand grains of the sand okay so uh, that can be that cannot be counted so we call it uncountable okay the, uh, it tells the quantity means uh, uh, how much one example is also given a lot of water got wasted because of the leakage now here we cannot count water okay so we uh, so we said that a lot of water okay it is telling the quantity now the second one third one adjective of number it is also same as uh, adjective of quality but the difference is that it is used with countable nouns okay that it it that uh, adjective of quality quantity tells us about that how much and it answers the question how many so adjective of number is a, is the, is that adjective which answers the question how many and what position it also answers the question what position just like first tenth second fifth like this okay see one example is also given two examples are given first one there are five mistakes in the assignment now how many it is countable noun i we can count the mistakes it is a countable noun okay so it is used five mistakes in the assignment we will use a specific number for that when we you say there are 25 pillars in the building if we say there are 25 pillars in the building so pillars can be counted and it is a specific number 25 okay so that is a, uh, that is a adjective of number third third uh, second example garima secured the first place in the dance competition you can say the position which position what position okay so uh, first position second position like this i think it is clear now now come to the fourth type possessive adjective now possessive adjective it is that adjective which answers the question whose means uh, which belong to whom okay uh just like one example see her handwriting is very beautiful now you can see handwriting is uh, her handwriting okay means it is it show it is showing the possession possession of uh, something uh her our country believes in peace and harmony now in this sentence see our country means uh, we are saying the possession of country possession of ourselves on the country okay my book uh, uh my book his car his her chair okay like this we uh, the, the, these all ca are called possessive adjective okay now come to the fifth part demonstrative adjective demonstrative adjective answers the question which one which one means uh, it it demonstrate that which uh, which thing which thing which is the thing or which is which one okay one example you can see some words are there this that these those okay see that table needs to be replaced okay those flowers are gulmohars okay uh, let me tell you one thing more that why when we use this when we use that when we use these and when we use those when the thing is near to us okay when when anything which is near to us then what we say this when a singular thing which is near to us that uh, suppose one table is uh, kept beside me so what i will say that this table is very strong okay if i if two tables are kept near me then what i will say that these tables are very strong for plural one we use for plural one and which is near to us okay we use these okay if a singular quantity is a singular uh, con a singular thing is written uh, is kept to over a distance so what i will say that uh, suppose a fan is uh, there so what i will say that fan is dangerous okay if i say like this that that fan is dangerous okay so that the fan is, uh, is is at a distance from me okay so we will use that if i say uh, if two fans are there then I, uh, what i will say those fans are dangerous okay means i will tell uh, if i will say that uh, the those these uh, the, those both fans are at distance from me 
okay so i will say those fans are dangerous i think it is clear to everybody okay come to the uh, sec next one interrogative adjective Interro interrogative adjective uh, it is as it is named uh, clear from the name uh, it is used to ask a question and is followed by a noun it always uh, use ask used to ask a question means uh, it is clear from the uh, that uh, uh, that name is also interrogative interrogative means to ask to query okay like this so uh, what whose which are wh words are there which uh, describe uh, which describe the interrogative adjectives see whose advice should i follow whose advice advice is here advice is a noun okay and before it adjective is used whose whose advice should i follow okay second example what color is the sari what color is the sari now in this sentence see color what color it is followed by a uh, adjective okay come to the last one distributive adjective each every either neither here refers to an individual thing or person person among many it is it refers to the individual thing means each product has its mrp mentioned in the brochure we are telling about an individual thing about any any in, any individual person okay among many person if suppose there are many uh, there are many chairs are there so i will say that each chair uh, each chair you can say every uh, uh, every chair like this okay uh, we are we are referring to the uh, particular uh, that individual thing or person okay each product has its mrp mentioned in the brochure okay next example every classroom should have a projector okay now see in this sentence what is this every classroom should have a projector means they, uh, they are telling that uh, that uh, classifying we are we are referring to the individual uh, thing okay among many th among many things words are there each every either neither okay students so these was the types of adjective i think every type is clear to everybody okay thank you students